Fantastic. Good morning to you. Welcome to Wednesday, midweek shave. Um, looking forward to this. Uh, we're going to use a lot of PAA products today. Um, I smelt this the other day and oh, I've got to use you again. And we're going to be using this, the Droid Black by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I've had this about a year. And um, it's PAA's take on Floyd Black, if you've ever owned that or tried it. I wasn't lucky enough to try the original. But by absolutely stunning scent. So that's that's the soap. Um, and I put that in the fine bowl. Probably put too much in there. Just a sort of thumbnail size. Um, we're going to use the original cube pre-shave there, unscented. And razor is going to be this thing. Uh, the Lord three-piece non-adjustable, very inexpensive razor. I think they're about five pounds around there. It's known as the L6. And uh, very, it's head heavy, very light aluminium, aluminium handle alloy. Um, and that's what we look like inside. And in that, I haven't used one of these for a long time, Big Ben. A super stainless blade uh, made in Egypt. So that's, that's that blade. And I can go straight in nice and carefully. Oh, there you go. So, how, uh, how are you doing in yourself? All right. The week treating you well so far, hopefully. Well, we're five days into autumn here, the 23rd of September was the first official day of autumn, or fall as it's known, um, and that runs right through then to the 21st of December, I think, uh, and then it's winter, but um, that's in. There is slight overhang, not a lot, um, good little razor, it's like a diamond uh, grooved knurling on the handle there. A bit of a Gillette take on there, I think. Just a, oh, um, oh, and I've got a, a vintage, uh, original, classic razor uh, gifted to me. Um, and I'm going to use that on Sunday, so that'll be worth seeing. It's the original. What a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but some companies have copied, if you like. Happens a lot, doesn't it, in shaving, especially with the original Gillettes. Um, so that's that. Brush is going to be this. Um, this is the Amber Aerolite PAA. 24mm uh, Stygian Synthetic Knot. Oh, that might help, wouldn't it? There you go. That's what we're using. Lovely brush. Um, Pre-shave, so what I'm going to do is create the lather first and then we'll use the pre-shave, so we'll wet the, uh, wet the old brush. Any shaves planned on the horizon? Have you tried anything different? Touch of water. Beautiful. I'm using a fine uh, lather bowl for its size really, it's quite wide and flat. It won't be long, I think he'll be using some of them scuttles with some warm water in once we get a bit of cooler weather. The weather has changed, very autumnal, um, quite blustery, uh, very heavy downpours of rain lately. But again, we need the rain after the heat and of the sun and that. And that is beautiful. Oh, the scent is, is beautiful. If you've ever lucky enough to try Floyd Black, it's a very classic, gorgeous scent. It's over spilling the edges here. Right, I'll do that. So, glasses off. 
And then we'll wet the face and we'll start lathering. With a cube. It will turn us a bit dark. Huge thing, eight ounces. Well, it was. See how dark the... <laughs> Very clean. Yeah, so if you're having a shave, as always, let me know uh, and what it is. And then we'll... I'm not going to lather it too much. This is a, a pre-shave and sort of lather booster. Um, but in honesty, not that their soaps need any sort of help, really. The old, um, the first uh, formula, all these CK6. You see it. Oh, do. Nice. Clean the hands, empty the sink, and get on with that exciting stuff. So here we go. Mm. It doesn't take long at all. I'm not sure if Pavarotti's going to make an appearance. Well, audio appearance in this today. We were very honoured last time. Like I say, since Millie, the new cat, the sort of youngest cat, arrived, she uh, she packed the singing in. <laughs> right, the Lord L6 heated up with a brand new Big Ben blade. Here we go, first pass. Ah, I forgot what this blade, if I'm honest, what it felt like. Very odd, oh, lovely slickness. Well, you've had the pre shave, the booster, and um, the cube. And you've also got this soap, which is good anyway. Uh, the blade is a higher aggression than the, like my standard Wilkinson Soul Persona. Um, again, I'd say it's uh, not quite feather, but. Uh, But it's up there, near it. But it feels lovely. I'd say it's a high end mid aggression, the high end of it. If you use this with a, like I say, with a mild blade or one of my standards, go-to blades, it'd just be a mid aggression, standard aggression, but it's because of the blade, it's a slightly sharper feel to it. And it's uh, cutting beautifully and comfortably and safely. I think the biggest, I've said this before, to anybody new to this, welcome to the channel, thank you so much. Um, the biggest learning curve, I'd say to anybody, is when you come from cartridge shaving, even though it's the same sort of thing, isn't it, we're all shaving, um, you can more or less put pressure on that razor and no harm comes to you. You have to, doesn't matter how mild, how aggressive a razor is, 
you have to use a light touch, no pressure, because it'll give you either razor burn, if you're lucky, or it'll cut you. Listen to that. Like buttering toast. One slice or two. Yeah, so um, we're big fans of autumn here, Mrs. H and myself. Um, if you get a nice sunny autumn day even if it's cold um very good slickness uh the colors the trees the oranges the yellows the you know everything's changing and it's a uh, lovely some beautiful colors we're very lucky in wales you know right second application This is a luxurious shave for a for a midweek, really. And why not, eh? Why not? So everything feels nice. There's no uh, no irritation or anything. Steady we go. So. Uh, there we go. Across the growth. Big Ben razor, super stainless. Brand new. Very audible. I think a couple of people have said, if I remember when I've used this before, uh, they've got one in their sort of travel bag they use for, well, for traveling, you know, shaving as they're on the way on vacation, on holiday, or away on business. And uh, as I say, it's a inexpensive razor, so it wouldn't matter that much if you lost it. But, Not good, is it? Losing anything, really. I've always said this. Um, oh, listen to that. I would rather give something away than lose it. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what happened to me the other week. I went through a through one of my suits. Uh, which didn't fit because <laughs> I've lost that much weight, you know. If you believe that, you believe anything. Anyway, I got the middle age spread, which beer and food doesn't help us. Uh, <laughs> I was going through the suit and I found twenty pound notes in the pocket, so that was nice. Have you ever done that? Gone through your trousers or your Clothing, pockets, you found some money. Always a nice feeling. Yeah. That is lovely. Not, uh, Overpowering scent. The scent smells stronger in the puck. Um, as you shave, you can certainly smell it. It's beautiful. Um, but as I say, not overpowering in any way. It's what I call it. Present. It's there. Against the growth. Here we go. I 
Das ist ein bisschen so. Really nice. Very comfortable. As I say, inexpensive, but very, it's a comfortable razor. Does the job. Wow. Yeah. Slickness is excellent right through the shave residual as we go, which I knew would be anyway. Keep it rinsed and it keeps clean. Has the weather changed where you are in the world? I know it's a... Uh, I think in Australia it's... Are you in spring now, heading into summer, I think? Oh, there's lovely. That is nice. There's only one more thing to do now. We all know what that is. Ready? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Right. Pick up time is where we get where we've uh, get all the stragglers that where we've missed. I mean, you could go out the door now. Perfectly good shave. If you like me and you feel is it oh I missed a bit there, missed a bit here and trying to get that smooth BBS. And sometimes we overdo it, don't we? And we draw a bit of blood, don't we? But is it worth it? Absolutely. You can't get no closer than blood. Either. Them little bits. Oh, I love this hobby, I call it now. It was a chore once I hated shaving, absolutely, but uh, I class it as a hobby. Amazing, my father would not believe me if he was alive. Right, we're going to keep, oh, just a touch. Perfect. 
perfect. Cold water rinse, keep the face wet. We're visiting Alan, or he's visiting us. Alan Block. Wow. That is nice. Here we go. There's the Alan. And uh, no feedback in sting or anything yet. That's lovely. Nothing at all. Right. So we we'll leave that five minutes, or a couple of minutes, while we go through what we've used. So we've used the the Lord. It is branded on the on there. Is that the right way? Lord. Yeah. The Lord. This is three piece, non adjustable, head heavy. This is the handle's lighter than the head and the, the top plate. Um, very light uh, aluminium, aluminium, whatever you want to call it. Uh, good razor. Middle of the road is in aggression, but with this blade, the Big Ben, super stainless, brand new, um, a good sharpness to it. So that upped it to the sort of high end mid aggression for me. Very comfortable, very audible, uh, really nice. We've used the PAA first, didn't we? The original Cube um, pre-shave and lather booster. We've used Droid Black Shaving Soap CK6 formula. Superb in every way. The scent is gorgeous. We've used the Amber Light, the Amber Light, Amber Aerolite 24mm Stygian Synthetic, in my hair there, Synthetic Brush, I think. Are we? Or not? Oh no, maybe uh, Lovely, nice colour. Really nice to handle. Very, very soft. Does a nice job. We use the fine lather ball. Um, rinse with Welsh water. Then we've used the alum. And now we're safe to rinse it off. Cold water again. Someone or sometimes people ask, what does the alum do? It's uh, it's like a, a natural antiseptic, anti it's supposed to calm the skin, much like witch hazel, but uh, a bit stronger. And if you've got any sort of razor burn or cuts, it will sting you, but it will also aid in very minor cuts or nicks, it'll stop the bleeding similar to a styptic pencil. So that'll be rinsed now, that. Rinsed and dried and polished, then put in the box, never leave it wet, it'll disintegrate. Uh, so that's that. Then we're gonna use the matching, the droid black aftershave cologne. This is, you can see in the bottom there. Lovely, this. Any one of the cats playing. I've just realised I forgot to bring a balm. What a numpty. So I'll have to put that on off camera. You'll have to trust me that I'm putting it on. Oh, that's lovely. I'm going to have it. Okay. Nice, isn't it? God, I missed out on the original uh, Floyd. I got the. Um, Genuine and all that sort of stuff, good stuff. But I missed out on the black. Isn't there a blue? Was it a Floyd blue? I can't remember. Anyway, and that's it. I'll leave you in peace. Thank you very much for uh, your company. As always, thanks for watching this, taking the time out of your day. It's always nice to have uh, have you here in this humble abode. And uh, if you haven't a shave, have a good one. Have a great rest of the week. Stay safe. Uh, stay happy if you can. And uh, I'll see you on Sunday for this uh, Sunday shave weekend using this uh, classic vintage razor, which I've kindly sent. So more about that then. All the best and bye-bye.